Hello, hello. All right, guys, I'm back, and we got Star Wars Mandalorian. I was lucky enough to snag some blaster boxes. This is all I got was three. Uh, I walk in, they're sitting there looking at me like, hey, look at me. I said, hey, let's go. <laughs> Grabbed them all. And I did find some more score fat packs, like the whole display was there. Uh, I want to say maybe they just restocked, but I don't think they did. I think maybe I missed it by a couple hours. Maybe like one or two hours, probably. Uh, it was a random time. I went in for something else, and it was pure coincidence. Uh, I always walk by the cards and check. And really, it was a day that I haven't seen them restocked before, and at a time they haven't restocked before. So, like I said, I uh, think that some of the maybe some of the stuff was best stuff was really like gone, and I have a hard time believing they just restocked three of these on the first week. So, my guess is people been picking there from there for like a couple hours. Anyway. Let's get into it, right? I did three hobby boxes. Um, I don't know if I uploaded all the videos yet. I don't know that I will. Um, I uploaded the first one that I did. I know that. I don't know that I'll do the other ones. The other ones, um, I don't remember pulling anything great. Oh, the second one, I got something good. The second one, I think I got something good. So maybe I'll do the second video. Maybe I'll upload that one. The other one, though, one of them, though, was like a complete dud, and you'll be bored watching it. So, this one, I don't know. I'm just uploading because this is probably all the blasters I'm going to see. I was shocked to see these because I haven't been really hitting too many targets lately because I've been hitting uh, target.com, and they've been doing me pretty good. So,. There's a purple. See, this is one thing, and there's a characters. It really makes retail of these so much better than the hobby boxes. The hobby boxes are only eight packs. And the ratios for the inserts and stuff are the same. It's just you get the uh, the auto or the sketch. I think that's a total jip, man. I don't think the retail you should be able to pull same ratio like that these should be a little bit harder to come by like these right here i think i did the three hobby boxes i pulled like five of these maybe five out of the three hobby boxes one i want to say one parallel but no maybe not maybe not i already have a listing up on my eBay account. Oh, this is the uh, patch. Okay, I forgot all about the patch. May the force be with you. That's cool. I haven't seen these yet. This one is not numbered. Last season one, I was pulling number patches out of blasters like it was nobody's business. So that's a little different. It's nice. Should have made it a magnet. It would have been a nice magnet to like put on your fridge. It didn't say, it didn't have it like silver. Season one had like the silver ones. Oh, we got a child one. Okay. It's not a parallel. Eh. Ice Beast Returns. The Child in the Stone. Nice blue parallel there. And I didn't have this one. So that's really nice. Those are not that easy to come by either in the hobby boxes. Not sure what the pull rate is on those per pack, but main packs you got in these. You've got 10 packs in these, so all the inserts that I would get out of the hobby box, I'm going to get out of one blaster. That's a little messed up. But the autos right now are actually selling, even like the lesser known autos, but I think maybe some of them is the first because the Mandalorian characters that maybe haven't signed before. Maybe that's why they're going for, you know, 30, 40 bucks. Purple. Well, I sold like a couple autos for like 35 bucks pretty quick after listing them.
turned to Navarro Blue and a characters. Amando. Bo Katan and a concept art. Those were one out of eight, or I believe, or one out of ten, something like that. So, again, like I've bought it probably one more purple, and I've pretty much matched all my insert special again, except for the auto or the sketch that you would get out of the hobby. So, these blasters are. An absolute fabulous deal. But good luck pulling an auto. I did pull one, I think, out of 11 blasters last year. I think I got 11 blasters of this stuff. Yeah, I only found them once. I found five in one store, I think, and four in another, maybe. Then I never saw them again in a, in a store. That was it. I saw them one time. And that's so why I don't anticipate getting any more blasters. Nice one right there. That's the uh, comic book one. Blue and the characters, Reef of Cargo, but no parallels out of that. Out of the three hobbies that I did, I think I got, I think I got one parallel out of that. It was, uh, I haven't showed it yet. I don't think I showed that video yet. You'll have to look for the second unboxing. Watch it was in the third. I think it was in the second. A lot of loose space in these things. Not tightly packaged tops. But better than the uh some of the other ones I've seen, but not as good as some other ones that I've seen. <laughs> Alright, let's get better here. Let's get some uh Parallels because as I'm seeing in the hobbies, I did I had piss poor luck pulling those. Well, not piss poor. I got one good, one good parallel, numbered parallel. I think out of that, out of three hobby boxes, that was it. So they were really stingy with those. Blue and characters Mando. I'm gonna have to feel for that. Medallion here. I'd like to know when it's coming up. Got a baby. A baby Yoda. Oh, here we go. Nice. Star Wars The Mandalorian. The legend continues. This is a parallel. What's this number to? Like 50, I'm guessing? Yep. That's the bronze, maybe? 29 out of 50. Sweet. Wow. That was like... It was something... It was a, the uh, Yoda insert series. Not the comic book one. This is the comic book series. That I got. Another one. Parallel out of... Looks like my... I was thinking like one of my best cards out of the hobby boxes. That's sad. Because I'm two blasters in. But you go for that. I opened the hobbies for the big 
for that big auto, you know, you're looking for that big one. You're looking to hit it, right? Or that big sketch, you know? Like playing the lotto, but it's more fun because you actually do get something out of it. This is a nice looking card. This is a nice the bronze I think fits well with the color scheme of the card. It's really nice. I think that's a PC guy right there. That's what I think that is. Really liking that one. And Precious Cargo. I pulled this one already. That's a double. So that will go up. For sale. Characters. X Wolves. I think I that's my second one. This morning I pulled of him. I don't think I had his before. I think I was short that one. So and here's the medallion. And I don't see a number on it. Nice looking medallion. Nice looking medallion right there. Wow. That is cool as hell looking. You see how thick it is? Changing the plan blue. And another concept art. So that's our second concept art. One out of each blaster. Come on, focus, camera son. Yeah, I didn't do the freaking. Autofocus. I didn't turn it off before I started this morning. Din breaking in. Six cards. I think it's less cards per pack, though, in this one. I mean, as opposed to last year, I thought it was more than last year. It might have been more than six cards per pack. I have to look. I know I still got some of the blaster boxes around. And there's the uh, comic book variant uh, card. Hello, friend. Those are really nice. Good idea. Star Wars comics have been on fire basically since the existence of Disney Plus or the rumored existence of Disney Plus. And all the stuff that well it always since Disney bought Star Wars because they've been doing so much with it. It was really a good move by uh Lucas to preserve Star Wars selling it to Disney because they're doing a lot of stuff with it. They're getting a lot of mileage out of that. And they're doing well with it too. The content is great. I just watched. I've been watching. I started watching Bad Batch, and I ran through it in like two nights. Caught up now. Another blue. And this one I've had before. This one I already had. So that's a that's an extra. Two blasters down, one to go. Let me clean this up a little bit. Uh, 
Alexis playing about something over there. I'm at the front door. Do you? Find a way to open these differently. Ruining the last card for me, man. Well, it's a Sokatano. That's good. Oh, we got something here. Something is behind this one. I don't know. Is there die cuts in this? Because that's what it looked like it might be. Oh, that's a plate, brother. And we got that, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and that's a freaking plate, man. Are you freaking kidding me? This is the actual yellow printing plate used in manufacturer card number 41, stack time achieved, base cards. Wow. <laughs> freaking love these blasters, brother. Oh my gosh. It's not like heavy at all, okay? I got a plate out of um, Holocron, I think it was. It was... Darth Darth Maul. And that sucker had weight to it. This thing is like This thing is like super thin. It is like super clean too. The like the Darth Maul one had like had like ink on the back and stuff. Wow. But it's like fragile feeling. It's so thin. I mean it is so freaking thin. Wow, can't believe it. Unbelievable. What a hit. What a freaking hit. Man, what were the odds on that thing? Printing plate, one out of 1,661. Axe. One out of 1,600. So one out of every 1,661 packs. Now I know sometimes Tops runs a, you got to cut the number in half. So it would be, if it was the case with these, it would be 800 and what, 40, 830 packs, which is freaking still ridiculously lucky on my part. And it's the Baby Yoda. Snack time achieved. That's cool as hell because I love it when he's eating shit. I love to eat shit and Baby Yoda likes to eat stuff. So. That's why me and him are cool. I pulled this one earlier at his. So that's... Wow. Unreal. I think these are... Man. I've had more freaking fun opening Mandalorian Season 1 and Season 2 Blasters so far. Than a lot of other ones because of this. I mean, they're freaking loaded, brother. Just the autos aren't there. That's the only thing. If you're looking to get a... Oh, what the hell? Look at this blaster. This thing is going off right now. And this is a bronze. Number 30 out of 50. I think I got like one hobby box left for sale. That's it. And I held that one off because I wasn't going to sell it. I was going to hold one off later for me to open up a few months down the road. But I went ahead and listed it like. And so it's up right now. It's the last hobby box that I have. Makes me want to go take it down just because I'm having such luck right now. It's like, man, I really didn't hit too well in the three hobby boxes I had opened. And as I know, it's like, I had a sealed case. 
So I know it's like probably the rest of them are probably good. Three I opened were shit. <laughs> well, not shit. I got the good. I got one really good card out of it. Then I got one good card out of the promo packs. But wow, number thirty out of fifty. I think that's just the uh, parallel for a base. But still, dang man. Right on. If the number would have been on, I noticed something was different about it too. Here's the uh, medallion one coming up right here because of the hand around it, but it, it's not a whole lot of different. So with a number B on the front of this, I was going to see if it keeps on rolling, right? Grief Karga. So no parallel medallions this time. That's what I was really hitting before. I was really hitting those parallel. Even the Holocron, I was hitting parallel medallions pretty well. And the comic book cover. Legend continues. Nice. Some whistling going on outside. You hear that? Wendy. Neighbors getting their roof. Getting a new roof right before hurricane season. I wait till after hurricane season for shit like that. So my insurance company could check in, chip in if uh, just in case something does happen to it. Snack time achieved. There it is. There's the blue. Nice. Do I already have the purple for that? Nice to get the uh, the old rainbow for that, wouldn't it? Well, I need the black then because that would. There's a, probably a black one for one on these. I don't know. I haven't gotten any one for one black shit yet. I still got a few packs right here, but I'm guessing there probably is. So that would be the uh, the hang up on that. I'm sure another one of these. So pull the same one out of another blaster or earlier out of this one. Right now, I can't like ask for anything more out of these things. These are great. That's cards, man. That's cards. Sometimes you hit it. And sometimes you get... Come on, focus in. Let's go. Now you don't want to focus in. I'm pulling a lot of this one lately. There we go. Child and the Stone. It's really nice in a blue parallel. I got, I think, two of them now. Of those blue parallel ones like that. It's a really nice card. I want to see the last one. So if it's a hot card, it'll be second to last one I'm seeing anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Blue, taking aim. And a concept art. Concept arts kind of messed me up a little bit because they got a little bit of a uh, bronze in them, like the uh, bronze parallels. I was looking at it like, is it? Is it? Hmm. Discussions going wrong. Battle against Beskar. Making a solid crew. Mayfield. The blue parallel. 
And that's it, guys and girls. Wow, what an unboxing. Uh, take a look at the hits we got here real quick. The snack time of cheese printing plate. You see, see it on there. Can't really see them really too well. And then we got, that's one of one, baby. But it's a printing plate, yay. Really psyched about that. I rarely get those. Um, this forks, I don't, they don't even have them, I don't think. I never get one. <laughs> Mysterious Savior Bronze, 30 out of 50. Bo-Katan. And this one right here, I really like. This one's pretty sweet looking. Oops. With 29 out of 50. So that's kind of crazy, right? 30 out of 50 and 29 out of 50. Hmm. Seemed like the old factory was just kind of pumping in right there. This little case right here. I wonder what the rest of this case looked like. Maybe I have to go back to that Walmart. Because they only had three out. And you could tell I did a partial restock. It was like three of these. Seven or eight of these. This and that. Blah, blah, blah. And like I said, I, some of like some of the stuff that was there, I don't think like there was football. There was Panini Chronicles. The 2020, 2021, whatever it was. The ones that just came out, the Chronicles. Well, the Herbert rookies and stuff like that they had there. And they had a couple of those. And I don't think they would have been there if they had been restocked long ago. You know what I mean? I think somebody probably would have snatched those up. So I don't think this, they were sitting there that long. I think it was a partial restock. And the shelf was pretty full. So I'm, maybe I'll go back there today. See if I can find some more of these in there. I think I'll be very fortunate if I do. But these are really cool looking too. Um, and maybe may the force be with you. Maybe Yoda ones right there. And this one right here I really like. That's pretty nice right there. I think that's a home run right there, boys and girls. I like to get some more ones like that. Um, that, and you got the concept arts. I pulled, I, got, I did three blasters. I think the concept arts were one out of eight packs, I believe. And so I would have had three blasters within 30, 30 packs. So ratio is on point there with the concept arts. Um, it could have been three I could have got, or well, four out of that last one, I believe, right? And then we got these right here. I think these as well are like comic book ones. Let's say, and I don't think what characters inserts. Yeah, I don't know. I have to look at it through my eyes. Ain't that great? I'm looking at them on a pack. But four of these things, I think I got four. Total of five out of three hobby tens. Then four of these as well. Uh, this one I had, I didn't have. That was probably the only one I didn't have already. And then this one I had, and I got two of these. So and I already had that one as well. So these are, I think are supposed to be one out of three packs for the blue. We got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. All right, thirty packs. Are oh, these one out of? These are one for one pack, right? One out of one. Yeah, these are one for two. It says one for two in a ratio. So I did thirty packs. I really should have had probably about fifteen, according to them. Uh, but I ended up with uh, 20. So you figure out your ratios a little bit on that. See how they're off a little bit. I was up. I'm up on the good on everything though, compared to your ratio. So the ratios are maybe a little inflated. And I think these, the purples, are one out of four. Again, 30 total packs we opened. So one, two, three, four, five. So four. Out of 30, I should have got six, but I got five. So I was one short on that one. Then on 
on the characters are what? I'd have to really search through there. Characters are one out of two. So she got 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, 30, right? Yeah, not 16, 15. Yeah, 30 packs, two, one every two packs. So yeah, it's 15, that's right. Turning play it says one out of 1,000. 631 or something like that so we hit good on that and then the bronze ones are one out of 90 packs and we landed two that's a great deal all right guys uh very very happy with the uh star wars mandalorian season two blasters it's like you gotta take it with a grain of salt though you know um sometimes you get them sometimes you don't <laughs> That's it. You know what I mean? I've definitely had my share of bumps on the channel. You can go back and watch my videos uh, with, with certain different types of things. I just try to learn what to expect out of certain brands and certain things. And then next time they come around, I'll know how much of it I want to buy or how, mu or how much of it I don't even want to touch. Um, season 1, the blasters were great. They were fabulous. So I was hoping season two, they would live up to their expectations, and right here they have. I mean, I had just as much good luck this time as I did the first time around with the blasters I did in season one. Um, Holocron was almost as good, but not as quite. Um, some of the other uh, football, baseball stuff that I do, it's like some of these, some of the stuff I'm not touching anymore. I won't. I won't get it anymore. It's just too hard to pull. Like I, I, I don't. I'm not messing with any more top space sets. I'm done with those. I mean, I've gotten them over the years too, and I've never had any luck with those. And I'm putting my hands up. I, I quit. <laughs> I quit. I, I've just, I've opened. I really gave an honest effort this year with it, and I still didn't pull anything. And it's just that that when open as much as I did of it, I didn't know to do all the videos for it, and still get nothing of any kind of like value it's like okay i gotta just no more of this time i quit <laughs> no more top series you know i do got some stadium club blasters they did have those when i picked these up i'm gonna open those they have uh the absolute baseball cards um that, that i got they had four of those i grabbed four of those see how they did four four and they did three of these so somebody probably grabbed one box of these um so they, I grabbed four of those. I'll end up doing that. And then um, what else did I grab? Uh, Stadium Club, Absolute, this. Oh, and Score Fat Packs. I grabbed like they had 18 of them there. I think that's an entire display of Fat Packs for scores, 18. Maybe 20. I'm not sure. That's why I wasn't sure. But uh, definitely going to open those and put those. I already got a listing on my eBay for those. And those have been doing really well. So, all right, guys, uh, bye for now, and uh, happy hunting. Off to the next. Later.